Hello, welcome to my first video. I am very excited that you are watching this video. In this video, I will show you how to write a VBA code to prepare selling slip. Before proceeding to the technical work, just go to a, just have a brief background of this process. Processing payroll is a regular monthly exercise for accountants. This process includes selling, preparing selling slips for employees, tax computation sheets, deductions working, etc. etc. In some organizations, employees are provided with hard copy and some organizations prefer to send it through email. If your organization haven't any database solution for this purpose for processing the salary, you may maybe you are using Excel. So, so a large number of uh, employees should require a lot of time. You have to spend a lot. So, uh, let's come to the point. Here is the typical payroll structure. Normally, don't confuse with the head, basic pay, medical allowance, family allowance. Don't confuse with the head. The HR and organization have different uh, allowances, uh, payroll structure. And here is a sample salary slip. Okay. I have used the lookup function to uh, link the data with the payroll. Now I want, here you see, if I change the employee ID from 1 0 0 1 to 1 0 0 2, the values are updated to 2082 net salary for the noble, noble and here 20822. If I change the employee ID 1 0 0 3, the figures are updated. So this is what I am doing manually. I want that instead of typing the IDs of employees, ID of employees manually, what I want, I write a code which will automatically update this ID to the next ID, change this ID to this 1002 and before changing get the print off of this salary slip then change it to 1002 get the print of the salary slip change it to 1003 and get the print out so let's start with the VBA coding I just take select insert module and here we have module 1 start with sub s sub and name the macro print salary slips enter and you see automatically we have end sub and the color of this sub has been changed because you know every uh, macro start with sub and the, this is the area this is the name of our macro and this is the area where we have to write the code okay sheet 2 pay slip pay slip sheet 2 dot green C3, this point, C3, this is the point, C3, C3 dot value is equal to 1001, okay, sheet 2 dot print out from 1, 2, One. What this formula is saying, this code is saying actually sheet two dot range c three dot value is equal to one zero zero one. This is the blank. Change insert the value one zero zero one here in at in this point. Then get the print out of sheet two. This 
uh, of this worksheet from page 1 to page 1 you know in excel we have to mention the start point of when we are getting the printout and the end point so now test our macro using f8 press f8 f8 okay you see it has changed the value and insert the 1001 value here in this cell okay and press f8 and we will have the get the printout okay now we want that instead of manually inserting 1001 in our code we want something we want some automation so in create a variable name employee id is equal employee id create a variable employee id and employee id is equal to sheet 1 payroll okay sheet 1 dot range okay sheet 1 dot range payroll b3 this point b3 dot value okay and here we say employee id now what i have done i have created a variable employee id which is equal to sheet 1 range b3 dot value so b sheet 1 payroll dot b3 that value and here b3 is equal to empty because we have merged this uh, these cells so and here instead instead of mentioning 1001 i have referred this point to employee id okay now test it f8 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 oh what happened because this has because we have referred employee id to value this point b3 so now what we have to do instead of mentioning this point value i will use a function offset 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 function what offset function actually work how uh, do offset function uh, when we refer to a point offset function allow us to uh, deviate from that point to another point like when we are if i have referred point b3 and using offset function i will i can deviate from this point one row two row three row four row you know offset here is row offset i say b3 no we have to offset from b one row offset from this point i will one comma column zero dot value now what will what this formula now uh, how uh, what is saying this code sheet one this point b3 here b3 dot offset one row one row offset from b3 dot value employee id is equal to one row offset from this point value okay so that is actually b4 now test our code f8 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 and see now we have 1001 okay now this is what again one is say manual type but we have to change if i change to two you see f8 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 one user two if i change offset three rows because now b this code is offsetting two rows is actually from b3 one row and two row this value if i uh, mention three rows offset from b3 one two three 
we will have 1 0 0 3 here test it f8 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 1 0 0 3 so um, in order to automate this value automatically k 3 4 5 6 we have to we will create another variable that is a a is equal to 1 okay and here offsetting instead of numeric we referred this to and to, to the earlier variable a okay now we want this variable should change automatically 1 2 3 4 5 so here uh, this value will be uh, uh, will be changed accordingly so we will create a loop function how to create a loop function we will create a loop function by writing do while a is less than or equal to 10 so why I have mentioned 10 because we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 employees so we want a to uh, offset this value uh, offset those 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 offset till we have get the print out of lost employees so I have restricted a to a value to be equal to 10 okay do while a is equal to or less than 10 and here I say that a is equal to a plus 1 and loop okay now understand this code a is equal to 1 okay do while a is equal to less than 10 employee id is equal to offset a where a is equal to 1 this execute this function execute this function and now plus 1 in a add 1 in a so a is equal to 1 add 1 after adding this value loop will refer back to this point this point here this will test this point will test a is equal to or less than 10 yes because a plus 1 is equal to 2 so a is equal to less than 10 so again it will execute and when the code will reach when the code reach at this point here a is equal to 2 so a 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 3 loop will refer back 3 is less than 10 ok again and 4 5 this function will execute will repeat until a is equal to uh, is greater than 10 we, we, this will execute when this a will be greater than 10 the macro will automatically stop execution execution further ok and save this formula by con uh, control f here you will uh, get the uh, uh, alert that you have to save this file as a macro enabled workbook obviously otherwise if you don't save the file as a macro enabled workbook you will lose this macro uh, when to reopen after closing the file to reopen this file you will uh, lose this macro uh, okay you have to click no and save this file as a macro enabled workbook excel sm uh, insert the name and save it okay. okay now I want a button here don't use the one I want a button here you go to developer tab insert button and refer it to the macro print value clip okay rename it then salary clip ok and yes now when I will I will click this button it will say to 102 get print 103 print 104 yes relax back enjoy your cup of tea and after finishing select the pay slip 
and it's sticking among the plants. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will show you how to send the salary slip to the employee's email address automatically instead of uh, copying and pasting his uh, uh, email account and sending uh, an in, uh, sending email uh, manually. Just click the button and each employee will get his own salary slip through email. Thank you so much. Take care.